Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Factorio. I'm still in Alpha 14 at the time I'm recording this. Uh, the last Let's Play actually hasn't finished being published on YouTube yet. It's still just you know, a few more episodes being scheduled, but I have beaten the game of Factorio twice now. Once in that Let's Play, and another time offline on my own, where I got a really good run. There's a, an achievement, uh, there's a few different achievements, including some time achievements. There's one for, say, beating it in 15 hours. There's one for beating it in 8. And I actually finished that run in 8 hours and like 13 minutes or something like that. Um, and so I, I want to clearly take another crack at this to try to finish in uh, under eight hours or maybe even faster depending on how good we are which is what I'm going to be trying to do in this particular Let's Play. We're going to try to go as quickly as possible. Um, I know, like, the world record speedrun is just just under two hours. It's like one hour, 59 minutes, and some amount of seconds, uh, which is pretty crazy, but that also took them months to do, working with a fixed seed, uh, where literally every tile was uh, predetermined, the placement of every single object in the game. Um, not to mention, they were also playing peaceful mode, where you can't get achievements. Uh, so, my goal is going to be an eight-hour completion, so that we can get um, the the best time achievement that is possible within Factorio itself. And of course, there's independently allocated time achievements. I am running a mod here for the timer up here, uh, but that is all. And wor it's worth noting you can't get achievements when you have a mod running. However, what you can do is save your game, turn off the mod, load the game, continue from there, and you can still earn achievements. So I'll still be able to get the eight hour achievement as long as you know I, I load the game without the mod uh, before launching our rocket here. But we've got a long time before we get there. So here's the map that I rolled here. Um, I think this map uh, is slightly, uh, slightly larger starting area. I don't think it's the huge, huge one. I think it's just big, not very big. Um, and the patches of minerals are a little bit richer than normal, but that's about it. Again, we're not in peaceful mode because we can't, um, we can't get achievements there, um, and that's that. It's not even the hugest patches of things. It just means we're going to have to move a little bit less frequently. So I'm, I'm obviously paused right now. This is what happens when you hit shift space. You get this sort of grid here, and the game is paused. So um, the reason I like this save is because it's near a desert area, which means there's not going to be as many trees to get in our way. Uh, there's a good source of both iron and copper quite nearby. Um, the coal may be a little bit annoying. Not really. I mean, there's coal just to the north here as well as the stone. So most likely, we're going to be working in this little area to get started just to sort of bootstrap thing um, and, and see how it goes. If we get lucky, we may be able to set up, go to uh, get our, our basic power going this episode. We can't do any science until we have power. The sequence is going to be, we're going to set up a little bit of basic um, iron smelting, copper smelting, uh, some some automated coal and stone collection, although we're still going to be doing a lot of things by hand. Uh, I just mean like we're going to have some some burner mine, burner drills there. Then we're going to accrue enough resources to set up our basic level of power, and then we'll handcraft the first 10 um, uh, red science flasks and then feed that into the machine so that we can unlock automation, which will be the first tech we get. That will unlock the base type of fabricator or assembler, I think they're called in here, uh, which will allow us to actually, you know, automate construction of various things. So first thing we're going to do is, well, we're going to pause and I'm going to make one pick. Then I'm going to collect a little tiny bit of wood here because what we're going to need to do is set up a little tiny amount of mining over here. I'm going to just split the wood stacks in there uh, using the uh, the control button, which wasn't something that I was using in the past. Control and then right click or left click to put things in uh, from the world map. I didn't realize that you, uh, you could do that without opening things. So that's quite handy to do. So we're going to collect a certain amount of coal here. Uh, just, I don't know, like six units just to be balanced or something like that. I, um, doesn't actually have to be balanced. I don't remember which uses um, coal faster. The mine, oh, clearly the mine uses more fuel than the assembler. That's good to know. All right, so we're going to get that going some more. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want this wood out of the way at some point. So what the hell, I'll do it now while I'm sort of walking over here. But I'm going to keep collecting stone uh, because... We need uh, the stone to build stone furnaces, which are both used for, well, stone services, uh, uh, furnaces in and of themselves, as well as, uh, let, me, let me, while I'm talking here, I'm going to pause the game because I'm not going to be able to focus, um, as well as you use the stone furnaces to make burner drills is what's going on here. So what we're going to do is we are going to do this. I'm going to stop at 10. Then what I'm going to do is queue up two of those. I'm also going to build one chest. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully we've got enough plates over here. Yes, we do. So that we can turn one of the stone furnaces into a burner drill, which is great because what I want to do is, I guess I actually just needed five now that I think about it, is do that followed by that. And I need to mine out one piece of coal so that I can dump it in there. And then I'm going to keep mining out some coal because almost certainly our little, um, 
um, iron drill is going to need some more fuel here. So yeah, actually, I've already made a mistake here in that I only really needed to get five stone to get our sequence started. Boo! So I'm going to collect a certain amount. I am going to get another five stone here because what I actually want is the uh, a miner that goes into a stone furnace. But I forgot that I'd be doing coal first. Speaking of coal, let's go and dump a little bit in there, pick up a little bit more, and then come down here. Okay, so I've got, uh, let's build the other stone furnace, and we are going to go and drop some coal in here. And I should be able to pick up enough steel to make another burner drill. Excellent, so we're going to put you here, and the burner drill is going to go there, and we're going to go and split and split. Excellent. Get a few more iron plates, and we're going to come back up here. So we're going to keep doing this. We're going to do a few more cycles of making sure we've got stone to build a few more drills and whatnot. Um, I think the next step's actually going to be a bunch more miners, actually, for the coal. I'm going to get some amount here. I don't think we're going to go in one crack. Um, what we're going to do is do this. We want to make sure that this is running. If I'd zoomed out a little further, I might have been able to tell. Okay, they're still running for now, but I'm going to assume that especially the uh, the drill side of them are probably going to run out and put some in there. Grab you, and we're going to go one, two. I want one more drill so that instead of having the, um, uh, the coal go into a box, we can build ourselves a little square here. So let me get up to five. Excellent up last drill so what I'm actually gonna do is put you like this and like that and like that and then like that that way these drills are just feeding into each other constantly um, and taking care of that so I need um, I need one more burner drill here to actually start mining our stone for us and what I don't know is no we don't have enough steel for it so let me run down here drop some more coal off in these things grab some of that and there we go. Okay, so then the chest will actually go to start grabbing stone instead. I will need a little bit of coal to throw in here. So these are just feeding into each other. So that's going to be very nice and fast. You go there, you go there. We're going to dump, actually, that's a fairly huge amount of coal in there, but that's going to be okay. All right, so we got that. I'm going to help um, manually mine a little bit of stone here because what we're going to want next is a little bit more miners for the iron. Um, I'll go up to, like, I think I'll build one more and then, well... I don't know, actually. I think we're actually going to want more stone mining, now that I think about it. So we're going to want a combination of a few things. Let's be one of you, one of you. So we'll go up to three iron smelters. Um, but to do So you're going to go here and there. And yeah, we're definitely going to need a little bit more stone going on here. So let's get that going. We'll need some copper as well soon. Uh, all right. We'll probably end up moving this stuff. Actually, I'm just realizing it's not really in an ideal position. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. One, two more. Yeah, we're going to... Um, it's kind of annoying. Um, I would like to have a trio of these mines that are all putting stuff in the same tile. Can I get that? Ish. Uh, not really. I can do a pair here. Okay, well, I guess that'll have to be enough. It would have been nice to get more stuff mining stone for us, but it'll have to do. Okay, we've got that. We've got an extra miner, which is going to be great. We've got some coal still to make sure that this is going okay. So I'm going to add another one here. We're going to be getting this one up to about five. And then what I'll probably do is get a little bit of coal going on. Click, click, click. Good. I don't like not being building anything by hand right now. We are going to need one more of these picks or these axes. So I may as well do that um, right now because I've got nothing in crafting by hand. Uh... Which I don't like. We're going to need a bunch of gears, although I may have done that a little earlier than need be. We're going to do this and just get a little bit more coal dropped everywhere. Okay, so we are going to want um, one, two, three burner drills and then three furnaces. One, two, three. Excellent. And some coal. And there we go. And we'll be plopping that down to get started down here. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is get my fifth one of those here. Drop... A little bit of coal in there get a pair of these and a pair of these and we really don't have much in the way of coal left but there we go that'll get started how these will put that some more into there as well okay get you going there yeah you know what I think the stone production will be sufficient for now uh, we're gonna want one more drill one more of those for down here and then the question starts to be all right what next 
So we can start getting copper plates. I'm going to just use a little bit of downtime to make some wires here because, again, we'll need it. Uh, I'm getting caught by trees. We may as well chop these down. So what we're doing now is we have to wait um, at this point for us to get um, enough material to make our science and our power plants. And that's really all that's going on now. So I can go and kill time by basically just chopping and whatever. It would be nice to be crafting a few more things by hand, but I don't think we'll actually be stuck by performance here. Because what we're going to be doing is working our way up to 14 boilers. So mostly we need more stone, which is really making me think, you know what, let's go ahead and set up another drill um, and I guess another wooden chest here. It's really far from ideal. Come on, make my burner. You're going to go here and there. So I had to make an extra chest down here, but that's okay. Let's load you up with a um, ton of goodies. And there we go. So we'll get more stone a little bit more faster, because I think that's going to be the big limiter to finishing our power setup. That, we're going to drop you in there. Um, so that brings us up to 11 of those, and I need to bring some more coal down here. So yeah, this running back and forth is going to be one of the things that kills a little bit of our time. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent, and I've got wood. There we go. So make those. Need more poles need electric poles to bring our power over here like so which is I think um, that I guess we're gonna need like what one green circuit to for for our offshore pump but that's it here build that we'll get two steam engines which is all we're gonna need to start off with to power everything um, we we don't need uh, 14 boilers to get us started but things will be really awkwardly out of position if we don't have um, all the boilers so you may as well just do it so let me dump you in there, grab you. Okay, uh, we've got this, we've got our boilers, we've got this, that's excellent. I'm gonna build a couple of pipes just for whatever. But I think I'm good here, right? Yes, so if I'm gonna do anything with my idle time, it's, oh, um, okay, I probably have enough poles. Let's do that, and then one of those, and that's gonna be okay. So you're gonna go here, so I don't cover up all the coal, or all the copper, although I don't think it's much of a problem. We're gonna go and get the boilers down, and, oops one two steam engines then oh i don't have the um i don't have the coal on me poop to start powering that up we don't need to run all the boilers i mean i guess it's not the end of the world because i don't actually have the science in hand anyway because as soon as the power's on um we can start running the lab actually i should have built the lab maybe first uh let me grab uh the six there there we go I should have started the lab first because I don't need all the science to be done to put it in there. So we're going to do this. It's only going to actually boil water as needed, so it's not going to need to run all of them, um, nor is it going to be wasting coal uh, when there's no power requirements like right now. So now we just have to wait for the power thing, the science thing to get done, and yeah, I think it could have been optimized a little bit had I built the science lab before building all of the science. But, you know... That's probably just a 30 second mistake. There's going to be lots of other bigger ones later on, so let's stress about that then. Uh, we're going to put in a little bit more coal there, and I'm just waiting for this to get done. Done. Put you there. Uh, yes, we want to start with uh, automation to get the assembly machines. Worth noting, the game is paused when you're in the science screen. So that is now. Oh! That is now sciencing. So that'll get us to automation, which is going to be lovely. So while this is going on, um, what I'm going to do is pick up. Uh, mostly a little bit more wood, actually, because we're going to use this to build more more power. Um, I could also be handcrafting a few things. First, I'm going to handcraft a bunch of pipes, which will be used for more steam engines later on. This, the, pipe, the steam engines need a shocking amount of pipes, actually. Um, they're actually pretty quick to build, but you need so many of them that it does actually add up a little bit. Okay, we are... We're about a third of the way through our automation, which is good and fine. You just ran out of power, so good pickup there. That's going to be okay. Um, the actual power itself is going to be fine for a while, so I'm not worried about loading more coal into there. So I just want to really make sure this keeps going. Um, again, I'm not making anything. Let's go and make all the poles left with the equipment that we've got. And grab you, grab you. We are also going to need some more furnaces because we are going to be making some... Uh, our, our smelting set up relatively soon. You need a little bit more fuel over here, so let me get you going. Do, 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 do. And really, we're going to get to the point where basically all those furnaces and drills are pretty full. Okay. 
breathe. Okay, we are done with our burner drills completely at this point. The uh, next thing we're gonna do is set up a little bit of automated smelting and then, you know, keep expanding and expanding and expanding. So um, I think what's gonna happen is first, how many drills am I gonna need? Cause I'm gonna need some for the coal and some from the iron. I guess, I don't know, four of each. Actually, you're gonna need more iron smelting. So if we end up with say six, we can get start off with four irons and two coals automatically smelting. Uh, we're obviously gonna need a lot of um, conveyor belts as well to reach down here. So um, what do I wanna build first? Well, as soon as automation is done, I'm gonna to wanna to build a couple of assemblers. Um, I guess the thing to do now is actually gonna to be to build some transport belts. Um, and a couple inserters. I don't want to overfill the cube because I need to make sure to get the inserters built as soon as automation finishes. And likely it is going to be over full as is, but we'll deal with that in a second. I think it's not too, too shabby, but again, that's a good sign. See how it's making all the gears? I could have been pre-constructing uh, pre gears in the first bit to get a little bit more time efficiency here. Okay, automation is done. We actually don't need any other tech immediately. So the only question that comes up now is, I just realized our sound is probably really, really, really low here. Uh, no, maybe we're okay. Yeah, I guess we were fine, probably. Um, uh, it, you know, what, what do we need like it more recently or, or whatever? I mean, we're gonna need splitters actually relatively quick. It'd be nice if we cook things up. Um, then probably what we'll do is grab electronics so that we can unlock automation too and steel. These are all things we need. Now in a pure speed run, you don't need turrets, you don't need upgraded military or anything like that. However, we are not on peaceful mode, which means we will get attacked, which means if we don't build turrets, we'll end up losing so much more time so much more time. So for now, I think logistics is gonna be fine to unlock the um, the splitters. However, however, our science is basically dead right now. We'll set up a little bit of automated uh, science production um, in a bit. I mean, automated-ish, because we'll still be feeding a fair amount of things in there by hand, but yeah. Okay, uh, so we want, um, I don't know, I think all five assembling machines here. And we're gonna put in a little bit of coal there. And you know what? The assembling machines are higher priority than the uh, conveyor belts, actually. Let me dump some extra coal over here. Still clearly have enough, but because not everything is empty, but we're just going to future-proof a wee bit. All right. So what we're going to do, um, and I'm going to try to move just slightly out of the way here. Let me do this so that we've got fuel, full chunks of power. Um, and I need to refuel this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of gear and copper cable production to the queue, because that's something that'll never get wasted. Mm -hmm. And in there, pick all this stuff up. Okay, automators are coming in. So we're gonna get, um, I'm, I'm almost certainly going to be undoing some of those. We're going to get a couple of those. We're going to get one of those going on. Um, I'm just going to feed these manually for now. I mean, I really should be grabbing from a chest, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get some of these things because I'm going to need a handful of them. Um, what else? I guess conveyor belts, but then I'd be feeding them manually. Can I set up an automated conveyor belt production line early on? Because that would actually save me a shite ton of time. And the answer is yes, as long as um, we have... I need some wood to make some chests. Poop, 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 poop. This is not time efficient in any way whatsoever. Um, let's get a handful of chests. We're going to use them. Okay. Uh, now, how can I get one chest feeding into... That's actually a little bit of a problem. Uh, if I go and move these power lines... Let me move a bunch more stuff here. So, the idea being, I'm going to put plates in here. I'm going to have this one making gears, actually, and this one here making assembler belts, and you're going to be grabbing plates like this, like this, and then like that, and that will work out beautifully. Okay. Um, so, you, Mr. Gear, are still going to be doing a little bit of automated gear stuff, but no, we don't need as much. Okay. So, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be doing this. Do I have any coal on me? I do not. You're doing that. Uh, since I'm not hand producing anything right now, let me go and queue up 20 science packs, which is actually what I need for the next level of tech. That way, at least I'm using my person to do something. You're out of fuel here. It's been a while before since you've run out of fuel. Let's go and 
just put a half stack in there. We don't need a ton more of you. Uh, oh, that's the other thing we can start doing automatically over here. If I can get some power, we are going to craft some stone furnaces from here. Like that. There we are. Do this, and I don't think we'll need you anymore. Let me do that. Free up a little bit of coal. Okay. So, because we're going to want a lot of stone furnaces. We don't actually have very much on our person right now. So, we'll be fixing that soon. You are looking for some fuel. Let's do that. Grab a bunch of you. That's going to be fine. Take this copper and... I think I fucked up there. Go in there. Pick up you. Pick up you. Keep making some gears for me. And you are going to go and get a whole lot of fuel. And then we're going to be dropping the iron plates in here, which are going to be used by everything in the system. Oh, we need to um, we need to drain this out. That's why it stopped there for a second, which means I need another yellow inserter, which means I need some material for it, uh, which includes copper plates or iron plates. Cancel the science. Take the science that I've got, drop it in there. Um, and you are going to drain that way. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, because it does stop the production. Okay. Take, take, take a breath. We want to get, um, right! That's what I need to spend my time freaking constructing, is the electric mining drills, because they actually take a long time to build. Um, and I need to get a whole bunch of it going on. You need to get that. We need to pick up some more coal. But yes, electric mining drills. Crap. That's what I should have been doing already. Because I was talking about it, and then I, I forgot to actually get it started. What are you short on? More iron plates. Right, because I just dumped a ton in there. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. One more trip over here. You can see how long they take, especially when you happen to make the circuitry as well. Luckily, I don't have to make the, um, the cabling. Well, not too much, because some of it's being done automatically. Let me get you properly structured up. Do that. Do some more. Just hate it when I'm not building something. Okay. So, we can set up... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I think I have to be careful not to mix and match with the copper, but I can do that, and actually that. I realize that one will run out pretty quick, but that's okay. Um, we are going to get you built this way. And actually, we're probably going to do our smelting... A little further up north here. We'll bring the raw material up over here in line with the coal, which is basically what we've got. I need to grab some more material and do a big better job of bringing the coal down here. There we go. Some more miners here. Pick up a slew of those. We're nearly done with that. Um, okay, we've got... I don't think I care about the, uh, the lineup here. One, two, three, four of these. That's going to be plenty. Get you to come all the way over here. Uh, yeah, that should actually be okay. And you're going to go and twist that way and do this. And what we'll end up with is coal on one side and iron on the other. There's a maximum number of furnaces that can really be fed from that. Um, but um, with the stone furnaces, um, it'll that number will be somewhere around 21 or 22. We'll be able to fed from a yellow operating on both sides like that. So... Um, that's a pretty darn good number of things. Let's make sure that our power actually reaches here. Pick up any of those that might be around. Do that. You're still sciencing, which is great. I'm putting one piece of coal in there, which isn't much. Um, power is still currently okay. Uh, we need... Uh, we're going to need a handful more of the inserters. So, what we're going to do is get you... Um, some number of them. Right now, we don't have a lot of mines operating. Actually, can I queue up some more mines? Yeah, because that's what I'm going to want more of. Where's the yellows? There, there, and there. That's going to be swell. We don't need to empty these right now because we will just empty them by hand. But now, instead of having um, however many, you know, the five furnaces down there, which have to be refilled manually, we are running a lot more furnaces than before, and we don't have to refill them anymore, which is going to be a huge godsend. So, I'm going to let these finish the job, but I'm not going to fill them up with any more coal. Uh, grab you if there's any of that. You're all done there. You, actually, speaking of coal, are, are nearly out. We are going to have to set, uh, set up the automatic production of that in a minute, but 
The whole point is we've got something that should scale much, much, much better now. Um, I'm here, so I'm going to go and do these, even though coal is not actually the thing that I need to have automated right now, but, oh well, that's fine. Let's do this. Pick up a few more of those. That might be all the stone furnaces we need. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I'll dump more coal in the smelters, but I won't be redoing the miners anymore. Um, come on. These have to run for a little bit longer before we get the smelting going on. So put a little bit more in each one of those. And then we're just going to make sure that the power is satisfied a little bit better because it's got to run the drills. Next step will be to increase our um, power. Maybe one, two, three. Three more engines, something like that. That's going to be okay. Um, I guess, that, yeah, we had the pipes done, so that really didn't take very long. Let's go and pre-make a few more pipes for later. Grab some more of this for now. These will hold up to 100 even if we don't empty them, which is going to be fine. I'm going to grab you. Um, I'm going to build more poles. We will need to chop down some more trees to keep this going. But, oh, and there's the end of that science. If I go and do uh, one, two more science, that should finish that. What am I doing? Oh, yes, steam engines to increase our capacity. And you will need... That's kind of sucky. There you go. Some of that. And, right, I don't have any more coal. We do have to bring it down. There's a little coal patch over here, which I suspect we'll be able to feed in there. And maybe that's what I'll do. Um, just because of the distances involved to fill that up with more coal is slightly annoying. Here. Ugh, I just grabbed them all after. And you know what? That, and I'll keep the rest on me. Uh, let's get you in there, and let's get you in there for a little bit of more automation, which will be nice. Although it means I'm empty in hand right now, but I'm going to grab some more here. And start some more mining. Um, I'm going to get a few trees because we're going to need it for poles. And we've got at least a production queue going on, so that's nice. Grab you. Do this. And how am I on conveyor belts? 41. Um, let me build a few here by hand, although we're picking up a handful over there. Excellent. And yeah, what I'm going to do is set up... I need 1, 2, 3, 14 inserter burners there. Uh, so we're going to run some power down here. And what I'm going to do is set this up. So we might... Can we run three in here? In theory, yes, but in practice, I think that would be inconvenient. So I'm going to do that. I know it's not a huge patch, but you don't need a ton of coal to run your power, especially for a very, very, very long time. It actually doesn't take very much. We've got to go wide enough that we're going wide of the power. Which I went a little wider than needed, but that's okay. Um, and then we need to run to here. So we need to run you this way to like that. There we go. And then just like that, I'm out of belts. So let's do that. While that's being built, we're going to do is this here and that. There we go. So these inserter burners will automatically feed themselves with coal. So I don't have to worry about um, doing that. And they don't use any actual power. So, you know, it's a little nice right now. We're going to grab some of this that we can. What are we pre-building? If I don't know, I can always just build some gears. That's totally okay. I think I built my science and didn't actually put it in there. Yep, so that's kind of shite. I'm going to grab some more coal here, just this way. I will go ahead and empty these guys again. Grab you, dump you in there, dump you in there. Um, you know what? I think that's actually good for stone furnaces. So just go ahead and load the box from now on. That's going to be fine because we'll still need some stone for something. But I think we're going on furnaces. Okay. Uh, again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in the smelters, but I'm going to not worry about the burner drills. And over here, I'm going to load you like that and keep you going because we're going to need you a little bit longer. Okay. We need, we've got more drills probably. I'm going to build a ton because that's, that's our next big project. So again, we're good on the coal here. I know it looks like it's got a backlog, but it's filling to capacity. I suppose if I'm worried, and I'm not, so I'm doing this really for nothing, but you know what, then I, I don't have to worry about it. There, that's, that's gonna be enough. That's gonna be more than enough to supply all that, and in fact, more in the future. Okay, and that will drill out, or mine out that entire segment of coal, given some amount of time. Okay, so I think for us, what we need uh, for here is we need to get more uh, iron ore. If I do this, I'm going to start getting copper, which I don't want. So I'm going to run you down like that. And there. 
and there, and you can just come around back there, and that's fine. And we need to make sure that the conveyors go here. Uh, it's very dark right now. Do I have any coal? I do. Good, because you need to go and do more of that. I'm going to drop. I don't have any real plates in there, so I'm just going to load you up with coal. Grab you there. That's fine. Grab you here. Okay. So now that I've got this going on, um, we need to... We actually want to expand it at this point is what we're going to do. So let me grab some of these. We have a limited amount of these yellow inserters, although we have enough to go a little bit further. At some point, I'm going to want to count how much, how many blocks I've got here, because again, with the stone furnaces, they uh, technically it takes 24 for their output to saturate one side of a yellow belt, but I found that around 22 is the most that you can handle um, from an input point of view um, without getting drained, unless you switch over to red stuff. So the question is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got 16 now. So we're going to go with 18, 20, and yeah, 22. Seems to be a very, very manageable number. I am not constructing anything right now, and I'm actually going to need inserters, so let's build a few of those, like that, and like that. And this assumes that we are 100% um, saturating one side of this yellow belt here, which we may or may not be. Bam, bam. Also, um, the yellow belt may not literally be properly saturated on both sides. There's a bit of a compression thing uh, that you have to do using some red belts. At least, I think that's going to be fixed in 0.15 um, to fully saturate um, a yellow belt to true, true maximum capacity. But let's not worry about that here. Okay. Um, this seems like where I have to put in a cut. We've been going for about 31 minutes here. We've got a lot of iron plates being produced, which is freaking phenomenal. I may have to set up the um, automated copper next, and we don't need as much, but our next goal is going to be to automate science production, um, which for science, you need both um, gears and copper plates. So um, that might be the next step. I don't think the logistics has moved. Did I... Did I put the science in? No, I still haven't put the science in. Also, I could potentially be, you know, keeping some automated science production going on over here, but uh, I think we'll just have to accept this slight delay. It's not like we don't have a lot of stuff to do. We're going to, we're going to get ahead of time on science. It's not a, not a concern. We're definitely going to do that. Um, if we, again, if there were a true speed run, that might not be true. Although even in the, uh, the two hour speed run I saw, there were plenty of times when like the science, like it was okay that it wasn't running for a while because you need more time to build everything than you do to research everything. It's just a question of, do you have all the research and time when you need to build the next thingy? Uh, and for our case, I think that's going to be okay. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you are going to enjoy this series as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. It's going to be a very different tone from the last Let's Play. The last Let's Play was about learning. This one's going to be about sort of trying to go as fast as possible. And then I suspect the a third Let's Play is going to be about building something redonkulously huge. So this Let's Play here uh, will make no use of trains, almost certainly. Uh, probably won't make use of robots, although um, it may, in fact, be faster for me to set up some amount of logistics production uh, or logistics network to move some stuff around uh, rather than to route some stuff. I don't know, but it, like, in theory, ideally, no robots, no trains for a small, very, very fast build. But the third one is going to be about like something monstrous and like a hugely decentralized system with individual little train depots all over. It was what I'm looking forward to. But that'll have to wait until we're done this one. But hopefully, if all goes well, this one won't be very long. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.